Sick and tired of selfie sticks? How about a selfie drone? Kind of. Howdy everybody, I'm David Geisler. This is the Technophiles Newscast, and according to V last Friday, this is my dad sweater. Maybe it would be a dad sweater if, if it was like a really cool dad, like a really stylish dad. It was like really awesome. It's fine, I don't even care. I don't even... Now my arms are cold. Anyway, today we actually have a pretty awesome story about a product called Lily. So the Lily is a new flying drone that is being marketed as a selfie drone. And I guess it's true that it can take video of you, but it can actually do a lot more than that. So I'd like to talk about it. For starters, the way the Lily works is you wear a little beacon on your wrist and have this drone and you just throw it into the air. The accelerometers in the Lily feel that it's been thrown and it immediately activates. All four propellers kind of flip out and it starts hovering right there in front of you. At that point, you can use the little controller on your wrist to tell the drone what to do. In other words, you tell it what kind of shot you want. Let's say, for example, you use the controller and you tell the drone, okay, I want to execute follow me mode. Boom and the drone will now track behind you using the sensor so it knows where you are and using a little bit of visual information to make sure that you're in the shot and everything like that. It will follow you around. That's a little bit like Lactu following Mario in Super Mario 64. Lily has a couple other modes that'll give you other shots. There's a lead mode, so it'll go in front and shoot back at you. There's a circle around mode and you can select like a climbing mode. I think the company calls it like the fly up mode where it'll go up and give you this awesome crane shot of you being awesome wherever you are. The Lily is largely intended for people who are doing perhaps like extreme sports or, um, you know, uh, kayaking, snowboarding, skiing, that kind of stuff. Anything that someone would typically put maybe like a GoPro on a helmet and shoot first person, well, this allows you to literally shoot third person and track along. The camera shoots uh, 60 frames at 1080 and 120 frames at 780, so it is capable of doing slow motion and stuff like that. Also from your remote, you can take 12 megabyte pixel pictures. And Lily has all the kind of typical drone sensing technology in it, where it's making sure that it doesn't crash into a tree if it's in front of you or if it's behind you, things like that. Some people on the internet, it is the internet after all, have express some concern about like invasion of privacy things with this drone. For example, let's just say that like you fire this thing up in your backyard and all of a sudden the lilies flying over your neighbor's yard or something like that. And the people who are making Lily have actually responded to that and they said, well, first of all, it actually makes a considerable amount of noise. It's not exactly a one-to-one -one remote control drone that you can fly around with joysticks or anything like that. And I want to remind you that again, it's you kind of just select these modes and then it does its auto cinematography thing that it does. So this thing's not designed to be some kind of spy drone. Unless you took the sensor and like taped it to a belly of a raccoon or something. And what the Lily is supposed to be used for is kind of a complimentary experience to all these people who are GoProing. So it's designed to be super easy to use, meaning there's not a lot of parts that you have to work with. It's almost iPod-like in its simplicity. And what that also allows it to be is waterproof. So let's say it gets caught in the rain or you actually throw it and it literally lands in the river if you're canoeing or something like that, no problem. Just flies right out and finds its position. So the Lily, there it is. Uh, I guess we'll keep an eye on this thing and when it actually comes out, perhaps we'll talk about it on the Technophiles podcast. I think that'd be kind of cool. In the meantime, why don't you put some comments down below or tweet us at Technophiles Pod. Let us know what you think of this whole thing and I'm sure we'll talk about it on the show in a couple months. In the meantime, you can find us on Facebook and iTunes by searching Technophiles or go to our actual website, technophilespodcast.com. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. I'm serious about this. Put comments down below and we'll talk about it on the podcast. I want to see what people think about this drone. In the meantime, you can click over here and watch V talk about Project Morpheus or right over here where she's talking about like a, like a crazy door handle that cleans itself of germs. It's pretty cool. You can always subscribe down here too. We'll see you on Wednesday. Can I have my sweater back? Thank you. Perfect.